Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Banu pen for review. And I'd like to thank Derek from Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies for loaning me this pen for review. Uh, if you want to check out Derek, you can check him out at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies website or you can also check him out on Instagram. So I'd like to thank Derek for loaning me this pen for review. So this is, as you can see, a Banu here and from that lovely gold foil logo and also this lovely um, script that's on this box. Now this is a cardboard box so it is recyclable and if I turn it over you'll see it says a black opal. So this is a Banu Symphony and this is in the black opal and it's a medium nib. So I think let's go and unbox this pen so you can see here, to start with, you get this pen sleeve in a cardboard box. You get the product information and lifetime warranty. And this is a concertina and you also get your product care there as well. And then you have this sort of paper straw bedding. So all of this is recyclable. And then you have the pen. So let me just unbox the pen and put the box lid back on and then you'll see the Banu Symphony and this really is a lovely uh, colour here and you can see really the lovely sort of gemstone colours that are really coming through in uh, those sort of uh, accents there on the pen. So this is a Banu Symphony so to start with, you will see it's a little bit of a, a sort of a, a strange shape. You'll see that it has a almost flat cap finial here. And you have a very large clip part here. Now, this is spring-loaded, so you can squeeze that and it will move the clip, which I really do like. I think that's a really good ad addition to the Banu pens. So you do have a large metal band to actually support that spring-loaded clip. Now, it is very wide here at the cap finial, and it tapers down here to a sort of cap band, but it's an integrated one, and it says here, Banu. And then there's really a seamless join here between the cap and the body, and then it tapers down here to what is the end cap or blind cap, but hopefully you can see there that the, that sort of lovely colour is really nice. If I unscrew the cap, you will see a very large number six size nib. And this is a Schmidt nib. Uh, it's a steel nib and it's a medium nib. And you can see the ABS plastic feed here. Now, the section does taper down quite a bit. And it then flares out right before the nib and the feed. And that's really to stop your fingers slipping onto the nib and feed. And I do like that a lot because I do have a tendency for my fingers to, certainly my middle finger that comes underneath here, to actually start touching a feed and it then becomes inky. Now, the section starts to taper out a little bit here and then you have these wide cap threads. They are not actually sharp. Um, you do have a bit of a step down here from the body even though the body's rounded, it's a slight step down here. Uh, and that allows the cap to actually butt onto the body uh, without any overlap. So it's quite seamless. And then obviously you have the rest of the body. Now, in terms of in my hand, this is actually quite a nice size. I can post these. These do actually post quite nicely. So this is really quite a nice uh, sort of size pen. Now, this is lacquered over, so you don't feel any of these, so you're not going to scratch it. If I unscrew the body, you'll see a standard Schmidt International Converter that you can just remove there. And I do like cartridge converters because normally, rather than, say, cleaning the converter and filling it with water and keep doing this, I what I will do is I will take an ink syringe, a blunt ink syringe, and fill it with water and then put the ink syringe like this and push the water up into here and let it run out. And that's a really good way of actually cleaning these uh, converters. 
Uh, and then you have the, the nib and feed here in the section. I will use a bulb syringe here filled with water and push the inky water out of the nib and feed. And that is a low maintenance effect and it really helps to, to clean out any cartridge converter pens. So, so I tend to really like doing it that way to clean cartridge converters and I find it works really, really well. So I like this uh, Banu Symphony. I do like the symphonies. I, I have reviewed another symphony before, and uh, these are very comfortable pens. They, they are sort of fairly lightweight, and the body uh, is lightweight, but the, the cap is a little bit heavier because it does have a little bit more metal here around uh, the cap here for really to support this spring-loaded clip. But for me, like this really is a good size in my hand. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen, we are looking at 130 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is about 59 millimeters in length. And I'll try and make sure that that doesn't roll off because it is a cylindrical pen. The length of the body, we are looking at about 125 millimeters in length. So it's not what I would really call an oversized pen, but it's still not a bad size in my hand. If I hold it down here sort of near the section or if I hold it up here more of the threads, it then does tend to get a little bit short for me, but I could then post that cap if I wanted to. So I think let's do a weight check. The full weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just over 23 and a half grams. The weight of the cap is just over 10 and a half grams. And then the weight of the body, uninked, we are looking at uh, just under 12 grams in weight. So so that is a very lightweight pen for me. But this is quite a nice pen. I, I do like that this pen is all black with just this sort of amber kind of chippings going on there. So this pen is on loan to me from Derek at Stonecrop Fine Writing Supplies. I'd like to thank Derek for the loan of this pen for review. If you want to check out Derek, then go and check him out at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies, or you can also find him on Instagram as well. So do go and check him out if you want any Banu pens in the UK. So again, thanks to Derek for loaning me this pen for review. I think now let's go and do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have a Platinum 3776 in the Chartres Bleu. We have a Pilot Custom 823 with an FA nib. We have a London Pen Company. Uh, this is the Christopher in Erinoid Caramel. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog, a Banu Symphony Black Opal. We have a Sailor 1911 Large. We have a Stipula Etruria Corsani. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence, a Visconti Divina in Elegance Green and an Omar's Arte Italiana Paragon Grande in the Arco Brown. So I think let's go and do a writing sample. So this is the Banu, and it is the Symphony, and it's the Black Opal, So I'm going to double check. Yes, it is black opal. Uh, it's a medium and it's a steel nib. And it's a Schmidt number six size nib there. Now, the ink in here today is Diamine, Autumn, Oak, which I actually think sort of complements some of that sort of autumny sort of chippings in the body there in the black opal quite a lot. Now, in terms of line variation, 
I would say that this is definitely a Western medium line. If I try to apply more pressure, I'm getting about a broad line out of this. And you can see here from the figure of eight. Now, I really do like this ink because you can hopefully see there's a lot of shading going on here. And then if I do some more vertical lines, you will see that there's no hard starts or skips with this pen. And if we do an ink wetness test, now you will see that that is quite a wet pen. It's a little bit more wetter on the downstrokes versus the uh, cross strokes. And typically, I do find that a lot on Schmidt nibs. Uh, but this actually is quite a nice writing pen. So it is a medium steel nib and it writes, I'd say, fairly smooth with a bit of feedback to it. Uh, again, that's what I normally find from a lot of uh, Schmidt nibs in fine and medium nibs. So what do I like and what do I not like about the pen? Well, I think it's an interesting design. Uh, you don't normally see that many pens in this kind of shape where it's tapered down massively here at the base of the or the, the end cap here uh, and then tapered out massively here to the um, cap finial. Now, I do like that this has a number six size nib. I do like that this has a springy clip as well. I like that it's a cartridge converter. Um, for me, that most of it is actually quite a positive thing. The only thing for me is I tend to like longer size pens. So this pen is a little bit short for me. Uh, I typically like a pen that's around about 130, 132 millimeters in length. And this comes in a little bit short of that. Uh, so for me, uh, I this is probably a pen that I would want to post the cap on. You can post the cap quite happily there, and that will work. But uh, it's a lovely pen for me. And uh, if you want to try and pick up a Banu or this particular Banu, then do go and check out Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies because he does have a lot of Banus there. Uh, not only the Symphony range, but he also has uh, the Scepters, the Grand Scepters, the Euphorias, uh, even the Tattoo as well. So uh, do check him out there uh, and uh, mention my name. So there you have it. That's my review of the Banu Symphony in the Black Opal with a medium steel nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.